First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Roka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, to believe in all sincerity. If you haven't seen this video, go ahead and check it out. It is entitled The Burden of Being a Warrior Every Hour of the Day. And it's by GMS Memphis Naba. This video is straight fire. If you haven't seen this, this is a video of videos, if you will. You know, this is um, a message that I had to get out. You know, the way that it came out uh, to me was made evident that, um, you know, it's um, something that the, you know, the body had to hear. Okay. It was um, very much on point. You know, it flowed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Again, uh, check this video out. Here's the title, The Burden of Being a Warrior Every Hour of the Day. Okay. And um, that's very much of a truth. You know, this reminds me of a scripture. In the book of uh, Job, I believe it is. This is Job 17. Let's get, let's see. what Job 7, before I begin. And 17. It says, What is man that thou shouldest magnify him, and that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him, and that thou shouldest visit him every morning and try him every moment? You see? So, you know, when you read the um, the book of Job, you know, he was, um, you know, he was vexed, you know, deeply, okay, for the bet that the most I had was Satan, okay. And sometimes we, uh, you know, are vexed and tried at every moment, you know, there's times where literally, you know, At every turn, you know, you encountering obstacles, okay? And this scripture um, came to me as I uh, reread this title. The burden of being a warrior every hour of the day, you know? And basically, the brothers were speaking about how, you know, in this truth, you know, at all times, you, you know, you're burdened with the, uh, with the responsibility of, um, you know, having to be a warrior, having to stand, okay, on business with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, meaning, you know, you, you have to be about the ministry. You know, you were chosen to do um, a job, okay? It's an office from on high. You know, you've been selected out of, um, you know, countless number of Israelites to uh, to help bring, you know, Israel back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But, you know, knowing that and having to endure that office, you know, you feel like, you know, you have to bear it at every moment, you know, and I'm going to read this again. What is man that thou shouldest magnify him and that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him? And you feel like the most high, he's just getting on you, you know, just, just, you know, at every turn, you know, there's, there's things that are trying you. It says, at, and that thou shouldest visit him every morning and try him every and try him every moment. How long wilt thou not depart from me, nor let me alone till I swallow down my spittle? You see? You know, he thought that, uh, you know, if the Most High didn't let up, that he was going to uh, go crazy. You see? And, um, you know, the brothers were going in, okay, on how, you, you know, you got to be a warrior, uh, you know, every hour of the day. You know, you're you're on call, you know? You're on duty. You're a watchman. You're a soldier. Okay. You're in a battle. You see? And it feels like at every hour, yeah, at every moment, you know, you're you're being tried. You know, and it's ultimately, you know, a reminder, you know, that um you're not like the rest of the world. You were set up to do something very special for you, how about Shai? Okay. Okay. 
Let's get this. This is Hebrews 10 and 32. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. So after you were illuminated, okay, after the spirit of Yahweh Bashimash came upon you and woken you up to the truth, you know, you, you were, uh, you endured a great fight of afflictions, you know, first coming in, you know, the purging was, was, um, was tough. You know, as the scriptures say, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You see? So, you know, we got to remember that, um, you know, uh, we first come in even till now, you know, it, it's, it's always a test. You see, you know, you, we're being, um, you know, tried to see if we're worthy. It says, parts, partly whilst ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. Okay? So when you read this in the NLT, sometimes you were exposed to public ridicule and were beaten, and sometimes you help others who were suffering the same things. So you come into the body, you know, you're, 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 uh, you're exposed to the, the public, to ridicule. You know, sometimes, you know, you, you go, you suffer reproaches and afflictions. There's, there's many, the scriptures say many are the afflictions of the righteous. Okay. And, and not only you, but, but, but when you come into the camp, brothers, other brothers that were going through it already, you know, we're, we're all, um, you know, put on display, so to speak. This is first Corinthians four. And nine, for I think that the most I have set forth us, the apostles last as they were appointed to death. Right. You know, it, you know, sometimes, <clears throat> you know, you think that, um, that you're going to die, you know, that, 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 uh, you know, is the most high with you or are you just appointed to die? You know, are you reprobate? Because you're in this flesh and you carry this knowledge, but yet you still go off. And these things are in your mind. You know, these things are made evident because you just going, you know, through trials and tribulations, you're going through the fire, you know. So sometimes you feel like you were appointed to death. It's for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Okay. You're made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and unto men. And you go into the word spectacle. Strong's G 2302. Theatron. It says... Theatron. A theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibited and public assemblies held. A public show. A man who is as exhibited, excuse me, a man who is exhibited to be gazed at and made sport of. Right, you're an exhibit, you know, like if you were in a museum in a, in a, in a, in a glass case where people just come by and just watch you and make fun of you, ridicule you, look at you, they stand in the third. You, you feel like that, you know. That you're a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. You see? And and that's um, you know, part of what you have to bear. Okay? As these brothers were going into. Okay. Oh wow. Let's see. Let's get a. Uh, let's get this. Psalms 44 and 22. Yea, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Okay. Because, um. You know, being in this knowledge, you know, you going against the system, you know, so to speak, you know, you're like a sheep. Okay. That is warring a warfare that is not carnal. So, you know, the powers that be that they're, 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 their blessing is the sword. Our blessing is the spirit. So, you know, we're accounted as sheep for the slaughter at any time. We could be, um, you know, if it is our lot, you know, we could be, uh, arrested you know or we could uh be beheaded for this truth you know the scriptures say um some of you shall be uh, cast into prison you know but be faithful unto 
you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai, 10 days and, and he shall give you a crown of life. And, you know, not, not that that's on our mind, but, you know, we, we, we factor that in. You know, that's part of counting the cost. You know, as the apostles have always said, it is a very uh, serious, this serious business. Okay. You know, l look at the prophets of old. Okay. You know, most of them were put to death. You see, because this word is so contrary to, um, you know, this world. So you, you know, the scriptures say he departed from evil, making himself a prey. You know, just yea, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter, right? You know, there, there's a target on, on, on the backs of the, the men of the Lord. There's a great insurrection that is coming to those that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because they know that we're speaking the truth. We know that they know that they we're turning the world upside down through the spirit. You know, and, and these things are, are factors in the, in the minds of the men of the Lord. This is a. This is a First Corinthians fifteen and thirty. It says, "And why stand we in jeopardy every hour?" Let's get this in the NLT. And why should we ourselves risk our lives hour by hour? Yeah. You know, you having this truth. You know, you are a threat to the establishment, okay? They want to kill this word, you see? That's why they hid it from us, okay? Because if they would have told us the truth, they wouldn't have been able to take over. And they want to keep their spot. This is uh, 1 Cor uh, Corinthians 15 and 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord. I die daily. NLT, we'll read the CSB. I face death every day as surely as I may boast about you, brothers and sisters, in Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord. Right, we, we, hey, we die daily, you know, always bearing about in the body, you see, the death of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that that his death may be magnified in our body, roughly paraphrasing. You know, we, we are ambassadors of Yahweh Shai. The life that we live is like, you know, the servant is not greater than his Lord. I mean, we're going to have to go through hell and back, even death. You know, that's how heavy of a of a, of a commitment, of a price that you have to pay, you know. And, and not all men are going to suffer that fate, okay? But, you know, some are, you know. But we, we die daily. We know, you know, to be... Um, you know, absent from Yahweh Shai is, is, is death, you know, we, we want to be fully invigorated. You know, we want to get those, uh, you know, those new bodies. You know, we want that. We want the heaven. You know, we, we seek for new heavens and a new earth where indwelleth righteousness. You know, we know that this world is decaying. Okay. It says. This is a first Corinthians. Second Corinthians 1 and 8, For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble, which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, you see? Pressed out of measure, above strength. You see, there's sometimes that, you know, you you know you feel down and out. This is in so much that we despise even of life, right? You hate your life, you know? But the scriptures say those that they hate their life shall surely gain it because they're all in. You know, they're disciples. They follow Yahweh Bashem Yahushai wherever he goeth. You see, no matter what the what the circumstances, no matter what anyone says, it's like the, the 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 disciples are locked in. You know, and that's only through through the Lord. Okay, it says, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in the Most High, which raised it the dead. You know, so we believe that you know whether we live or die, we live or die to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, but we're going to continue. You know, and and and. You know, it, it, it's heavy. 
you know, it's, 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 it's heavy what we're involved in. Okay. This is a second Corinthians. Back in second Corinthians one and 10 who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver in whom we trust that the, that he will yet deliver us. You see, so this is the Apostle Paul speaking. He was delivered from so great a death and doth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Right. Well, we believe that, you know, there is no dying if you're with Yahweh Bashim Yashai. There is no struggle. There is, you know, uh, this is a light affliction. You know, it seems so, so heavy, but the scriptures say you have not striving uh, um, against blood. So, you know, uh, right now we're, we're not even in that, um, that insurrection yet, but we know it's coming. But we should not faint because there's there's no losing following you. Okay. Verse 11. This is Second Timothy uh, 2, 2 Timothy 4 and 5. It says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work in of a of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry. Right? So we gotta watch. Watch as well as pray. You know, be be a uh, be occupied in prophecy, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist. Okay, it's that word evangelist. Strong's G two thousand ninety-nine Euangelistes. Euangelistes. Right. It says, a bringer of good tidings, an evangelist. The name given to the New Testament heralds of salvation through Hamashiach who are not apostles, right? And this is good tidings for us that are saved, okay? The Yahweh is coming, man. We've been set up to speak these words. So, you know, it is, uh, uh, you know, a heavy commitment, but but yet the Heavenly Father has set the men up to make it, you know, to make it through, you see, and it's a, like brothers have mentioned, it, it's supposed to look impossible. It's supposed to look like this, and that's something that I'm, that I'm starting to to, uh, you know, really understand. You know, when we look to the author and finisher of our faith, Yahweh Shai, you know, he had a, a a moment in the Garden of Gethsemane where he felt that if there was any other way, you know, that, that if the Lord could 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 uh, take that cup from him, but you know, him not getting the answer from the Most High was the answer. You see, so, you know, these brothers, uh, to the, you know, sparked this lesson that I'm doing here. The burden of being a warrior every hour of the day. And it can be a burden. You see, and this truth is on our mind all the time. You know, and we rejoice in it. But, you know, at times, okay, not all times, but there's certain times where you think about it. You're like, man, you know, I'm involved in something very heavy. You know, we're talking about this rulership, you know, coming down and another one being established where we are joint heirs and rule with Yahweh Shai. That's heavy. That that ain't no uh that ain't no peanuts, man. You see? We're talking about rulership. Ruling over the nations, man. You know? Let's get that. He that overcometh. Because that's what it's about. Overcoming, man. Overcoming the world. What did the Lord say? I have overcome the world. Be of, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That's that's like the greatest pep talk. Right? You're like, man, how overcome the world? When you think about it, you know, it almost seems impossible. But it's but but see, we how about Shimei Shai? Nothing to us shall be impossible. And we believe that. You know, the brothers were speaking about that. My goodness. This is a uh, revelation to. And 25, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. You see? Hold on to this, this truth. 
you know, keep keeping on, you know, and that's why we have brothers, man, you know, brothers are there to admonish us, but also to uplift us, you know, that's why the Heavenly Father rolled with 12 disciples, you know, <laughs> and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations, you see, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. We got to keep the works, man. But see, Yahushua is with the election to, to do all that. Strong's G, 3528. Nikao. Nikao. Wow, read this. It says of Hamashiachim that hold fast their faith even unto death against the power of their foes. And temptations and persecutions. You see that? He that overcometh. Right? He that conquers, he that holds his faith even unto the death against enemies, temptations, persecutions. The Lord's going to give power unto the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. You see? A rod of iron. Okay, a scepter of rulership. So, you know, the nations are going to get broken into pieces if they obey not. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and the elect. They do not serve the elect. That's what's coming. That's what they don't tell you at church. You know, and that's something worth fighting for, seeing as they were at the, at the bottom and they're at the top. You see, that's the true history of the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They were put in captivity for their disobedience. So they had to be chastised and them overcoming that chastisement, the Lord's going to give them a chance to rule in righteousness over the nations. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And, and through the Spirit, I believe that this message that came out through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai by way of these brothers, it had to be said to the churches. Just to, to I'm not just saying that. This was a very edifying video. You know, this was fire, you know. And that's the spirit that the men of the Lord have, you know, the understanding, the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So just a little something, you know, to exhort the brothers, you know, I found it very edifying. Lord willing, you find it um, edifying, exhorting as well. Um, Lord willing, you were edified. And with that, I want to say Shalom.